Hi, my name is Dari P.T. Brown. I'm here to talk to you about Detroit Public Schools and all the corruption that's in it. For months I have said that Detroit Public Schools needs to weed out the corruption. Actually, I've been saying this for over a year. Even before then, I've been saying that the problems that face DPS are not simply academic problems. In fact, majority of DPS problems are finances and corruption. Even when Robert Bob, the emergency financial officer, was appointed as EFM of Detroit Public EFM of Detroit Public Schools, I said the only way he will clean up DPS if he goes after everyone who has stolen from our children in Detroit Public Schools. Robert Bob has slowly been coming up and saying, "I'm I'm gonna get these people. I'm gonna get. Doesn't matter what they stole. I'm getting." Them. Finally, he came out adamant today that he doesn't care who you related to, and then even a report came out that possibly they are investigating Detroit Public School Board members, as well as other people. This is what I've been waiting for. This is what Detroit should be applauding. However, we need to make sure Robert Bob does that. He goes after everyone, not these nickel and dime thieves, but those who have stolen millions upon millions of dollars from Detroit Public Schools. There's a seven-year statute saying you can, after seven years you can't go after many people. So let's think about it. That means until two, from now to 2002 they can go back to. Once 2010 hit, they can only go to, from 2003 to 2010. However, what many people don't understand, this problem with stealing from Detroit public schools is not a Detroit issue. It's a state issue. The state controlled Detroit public schools from 1998 to 2005 and Detroit has only controlled from 2006 to 2009. Well, we thought we controlled it. The reality is many people who sit on the current Board of Education in the city of Detroit are not for public school. They came from charter institutions. They are pro-charter. They have always wanted charter. In fact, one of the members of the board who just recently got elected to state representative is putting a bill in place that bars people from striking that bars particularly teachers union from striking and saying that they should take their teacher certification. Someone who supports education wouldn't propose such a bill. Someone who supports education wouldn't say strikes are illegal. Our First Amendment right gives us the right to protest peacefully. And I've never seen a teachers union strike become angry, become dangerous, but you got people saying that taking, taking their teacher certification away if, they're, if they strike is not just a Detroit issue. That's a state issue, meaning no teachers union in this state will be able to strike no matter what it's for. Is it right? No. But back to Detroit public schools. If we don't weed out the corruption in Detroit public schools, people, we got to go after everyone. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's a politician, a church, a pastor, it doesn't matter. We got to take them all down because they have robbed our district blindly. They have stolen from our children. They have stolen from generations and left a black eye on Detroit. That's going to take years to rebuild. Our problems are not simply academic. Our problems is weeded in the corruption and theft in the city of Detroit, as well as in the Detroit public schools, as well as in the state. Now it's time for us as citizens of not just this state, not just this city, but of America to wake up and realize wherever there's corruption, we must weed it out. But Detroiters, let's weed out corruption right in DPS and hold Robert Bob accountable for doing that. Going after everyone, not just the nickel and dime thieves, but the thieves who have stolen millions upon millions from our students. I'm Hadari P.T. Brown. And this is my perspective.